Well, what's up, everybody? It's your boy CJ back again with another um uh, Back to the Future's old cartoon review, and today's uh, review is about a show on JetX named Jackie Chan Adventures. It's a very entertaining show, and I enjoy the show. <clears throat> I really, really enjoy the show. Uh, with this series, as you would say, um, a total of five seasons and 95 episodes. And the show, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. The plot of the show is Jackie Chan, an amateur archaeologist, will, will prefer to quietly do his work for a local university, but fate has um, dealt him another hand where he finds he finds a ship and contains a um, talisman. He runs about a foot, run a foot to Dark Can, a criminal organization led by a man, a, a man by the name of um, Valmont and guided by the spiritual, um, the spirit Shandu. Jackie and his family must cooperate with a secret law enforcement organization called Sector, Se Sector 13 to counter the threat and must face danger that will demand all of J Jackie's di oh, dar oh, daring and skills and martial arts to overcome. And each season kind of like focus on different things that happen throughout the series. Um, the characters you also um obviously you got Jackie Chan. I mean yeah Jackie Chan. Then you got his um daughter. No not his daughter. His niece by the name of Jay Chan. And with her is like she always be like well she always wants to do stuff and like Jackie be like Jay stay here you know so he's kind of keep her safe and Jay's like huh I never you know she be like I never get to have um have any fun. Then you got um her his grandpa by the well I think yeah no his uncle by the name of Unky Chan or well they call him um yeah uncle yeah just call him uncle but his uncle Chan but um his character is so funny because um his well, his his character is a very stereotypical Cant Cantonese accent dual using talking third person by himself and like the thing is he's a he's a he's like um he always uses magic to help um Jackie out in the time whenever he needs help. And he got his little arm. Um, his main thing he always uses like an arm is a arm, um, a blowfish, a uh, blowfish. And he also carries something else when he always like he'll do it like that, swing it around. I know he like he'll do like he'll, he'll chant his arm um, magic, his arm um, magic chant. You go away with fire, uh, you go away with. And I think he holds a fish, and he, the little thing he's doing like this, you go away with fire, uh, you go away with fire, uh, and the little um, fish will start glowing, and he'll like shoot a beam at it, at on um, whoever it is or whatever is going on. But uh, what's so funny is that he always he always hit Jackie across the head with his two fingers. He like bah! and it's like good lord, man. And he's like ow. And I'm like good lord, they hurt that bad. He just be hitting, he be thumping him across the head. And he always his main catchphrase. He always well, yeah, well, I guess it's a catchphrase. He always says that magic must defeat magic. And it's like so it's all oh, it's so funny, man. And he also says aya. It's just like whenever something crazy, like something like oh, like you know, like oh man, that, did that just happen? And, he, and that's his way of like saying that. Other characters, you got Toru, which starts off, uh, he's a large, um, kind of a sumo man. He was the enforcer of the dark camp, but then he um, and thing is one episode where um, he got kicked out. Yeah, cause I think um, Valma ends up um, I forgot what happened, but Toru um ends up leaving him. And he joins um Jackie and his squad and um him, Jackie and everybody else. Now you got um the set the thirteen and the J team. Um the person by the name of Captain Black is the head of set the thirteen. Set the thirteen is kind of um it's where they keep all the talismans because they got like the vault and talismans. I'll um describe that later is that they all have like it's twelve talismans like the twelve um the twelve months and the twelve um things. The twelve um you know the twelve months and the twelve um Chinese um zodiac something like that and each of them has their own specific powers. And set the thirteen is where they keep all that, you know, high tech stuff. Uh you got one uh you got one person by the name of El Toru is uh, he's one of the members of the J team. He's a mass warrior luchador. His son by the name of Paku Paku Paku. And it's the same thing with him and with Paku is like um to El Toru, he'll be like, um Paku, you stay here, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. And Paku um eventually him and him and Jade, even though Jackie would tell Jade to stay like stay here while I go fight fight this person, she like ends up disobeying and still ends up um doing whatever she do doing whatever she wants, but in the end she does it does um help a little bit. Uh, another character by the name of Viper, the only group the only girl of the group, and she's a thief and um and the reason why they call her Viper because she actually um she's a thief who accidentally steals the snake talisman instead of the pink Puma diamond. And so they, they call her by the name of um, Viper. And I think um, throughout the series, she kind of have a crush on, yeah, she, 
Um, she is very often portrayed as a potential romantic um foe. Foe? Foe? Well, basically yeah, a little um a girl that um well yeah I have crushing um on um Jackie. Now time for the uh, what the enforcers. They have Finn, Ratsu, Cho, Hot Fool. Oh yeah, Hot Fool. He is he's like a very he's a um very funny character. He's a red spiky hair and muscle bound martial arts expect and he um well expert and shouts out mediocre animal related descriptions every time he launches the attack. Angry child is in for example, Angry Child takes flight when Hot Fool uses a airborne attack and occasionally when he when he performs modane modane task in one episode he utters mouse runs through maze while navigating through a building though then mouse takes cheese when he retrieves the Paku box Paku box shortly after it's so it's, it's, it's really really funny how he does his thing when he does all that then you got the demon sorcerers sorcerers <clears throat> you have Shandu Shandu is the main um, villain of I believe the first season and um he's, he's a dragon and then once on um, he um Loses all to a talisman. He go. He um forms into um his statues. So he he forms into a statue where he can't do anything. And so for him to um turn back into his own um, form as the um you know his actual form, he has to have all twelve um all to a talisman in inside. It's like these little holes for the talisman. He had to have all twelve of them to um be into his um true form. And his um he's a demon sorcerer of fire. Uh, he, uh, and you have Pokon is the demon, the demon sorcerer of mountain. I believe he's um he's a large green skinned female demon with rabbits. Uh, I think he's I don't know for sure. I can't remember. Then you have um Tanchu Tenchen Zhu. I'm probably I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong, but he's a demon sorcerer of thunder. Then you got Haswu Haswu or something like that. He's a um demon sorcerer of the sky. Toso Lin, the demon sorcerer of moon. Dao Guy, the demon source of the earth, Baza, 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 the demon source of water, Zeo Fong, Fong, is the demon source of the wind. Then, um, I think later on, I think it's season, um, I think season, um, three, I know, I think, I think season four is where they deal with these guys by the name of the Dark Chi and for the Dark Chi forces. Wait a minute, Dark Chi Wars and J. Sometimes call him the anti uncle because of this. He's also uncle r main rival in the series. His left eye is gray, his right eye is blue and head is mouth of the palms. Yeah, wait a minute, uh, I don't remember him. But um other than that, you have um you have the Shai Khan the yeah, the Shai Khan is what um Shandu uses um for his like his minions. He like he's like um shot he's a shot con and he like they like, raise up from the um ground like little shadow ninjas and they end up fighting. Oh well, yeah, they, yeah, they all, yeah, they, they're the main. You, they um mainly used them in the first season, and there was one episode where um Jay had got his tattoo, and it was like uh, it was like a symbol on the book of the um Shao Kahn, and when she had the tattoo, she had control over him. She had them like that. She had control over the um of the Shao Kahn, and then um Jackie was like, Jay, we gotta remove that tattoo, and she's like, Come on, Jackie, come on, I need these guys. You know what I'm saying? These guys can help us. He's like, No, we can't. And then the the um the tattoo started possessing her and started turning her skin blue and she became their princess and turned evil and then eventually had her um they got rid of the tattoo and the Shao Kahn ends up um um they left you know they left her side and went back to Val Bont's side slash Shandu because it was an episode I think I think yeah I think that was season two where um Shandu event um Shandu ends up um inside of Val Bont. And so, like, it was like Van Mott, he would cut between himself and Shandu back and forth for that whole season. Um, let me see. Oh, I think I think you need to talk about the talismans. Well, no, let, let, let me not forget um Draco and the Ice Crew. Now, this is the main villain, I think, of the final season of um, season five. Draco is the um is Shandu's evil son. Then you got his um squad. Well, his three people that join that he has to do his dirty work. You got Strike Master Ice, DJ. DJ Fitz and MC Cobra and the Dragon Minions are on um, the Dragon Minions are Shandu's demonic servants who will plan to unleash the to destroy Asia before he could free them. <clears throat> I think I think they like the yeah, I think they like the Shandu. They were later appear as the Shandu Oh no never mind, never mind. I thought it was I thought it was something like um the Shadow Khan, but they're not. But let me talk about the talismans. <clears throat> 
you have the rat is the ability to um, animate any type of um the rat talisman is the ability to um make anything inanimate to make it an, an animation so it might be like a toy bear and you could be like bam rat talisman now it's your friend you know what I'm saying <laughs> You have the ox talisman, super strength, tag, tiger for balance, the rabbit for super speed, dragon for combustion. You can um shoot um fire blasts out that thing, out the um dragon talismans, and that's the main one that Shao Kahn, I mean, not my Shandu has on him. Then you got the snake talisman for invisibility, horse for healing slash renewal, sheep for astral projection. I guess you can um float around the monkey for shape shifting. Rooster for levitation, dog for immortality, and pig for heat vision. <clears throat> and they okay now from season wise. I mean, I know okay the first season obviously they were dealing with Shandu trying to get the two talismans. There was on I think the next season I don't know for sure but I know they that's one season. Then you got the one season where um they have to take on um um the talismans became actually inside the animals. And they had to get the animals back. So it's like there's no more, no, no, there's no longer talismans. They're now the animals with that ability. They have to capture every all twelve animals, you know, to um, you know, so make sure that Shandu doesn't get them. Then um, you have again with Draco and his crew on um, season five. Then one season they have to deal with um the the guys who I was reading about the dark sorcerer. They had to deal with them with the Pakun box getting them back into the box. That's one season, but uh. <clears throat> I can't. I don't. I mean, I can't remember which season is which of each one. Okay, here it is right here. Season one is the twelve talismans. Season two is the demon portals. Season three, the animal talisman slash power animals. Season four is the only the only mask, and season five is the demon powers. I mean, it's so many episodes that I could talk about, but I'm gonna end it right here. Um, like and don't forget to subscribe. And oh well, before I say, I enjoyed the show a lot. It was pretty funny. It had its funny moments. I didn't really see, I mean, I seen all, I think, of season one, two, and three, but I didn't think, I don't think I seen season four, and then I seen, I then I seen some of season five, but overall, I enjoyed the series, if it was on DVD, and I, I think it is, but I don't know for sure, but I would buy it if it was on DVD, like, and don't forget to subscribe, and catch you guys later, deuces.